Welcome back to America's Got Talent Live. Howard Stern and Howie Mandel are still going at it. He made up that name. Her name everyone, wasn't Mary. He made up that name. No, no. Everyone on Twitter is calling H Howie out of line. No. Come on. I, you know what? When I took the job, I took the job seriously. No. If you're going to yes. take it I'm seriously, serious too. don't do that. And Nick cares about the credibility of the show. I do, 100%. Let's move on. Moving move on. on. Move Tonight, 12 acts are fighting like these two are fighting for the next step towards their future they've always dreamed of. Now, who makes it is up to you at home. Only four acts can go through, and we'll find out who you've chosen tomorrow night. All right? Y'all ready for that? Plus, we got a multi-platinum selling singer here. Mr. De uh, Gavin DeGraw will be live on stage with his newest single. It's going down. Plus, the cast of Traces and one of the hottest shows in New York will be here as well. You don't want to miss it. That all goes down tomorrow at 9, 8 Central. It's going to be insane. Okay. Are you guys ready to laugh? That's what I'm talking about. A comedian from Stony Point, New York, who's hoping to make his dad proud, you know, because he was supposed to be a lawyer, but now he's a comic. Give it up for Tom Cotter. I'm Tom Cotter. I'm a stand-up comic. I was always getting beaten up by the two oldest, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I am a big fan of yours. I'll see you in New York. I'm a comedian. I'm around funny people all the time. The best laughs I've ever had are my three sons. They make me laugh and howl and fire beverages out of my nose. I just love being a dad. Being here is 25 years of hard work coming to a head, and I gotta take it to the next level. Tom Cotter hasn't been able to break out. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. He needs this. Tonight's the night. Bring it home, Tom. I work in comedy clubs, which are basements, and it's very claustrophobic. The audience is right on top of you. This stage is gigantic. We are not in Kansas anymore. Now he's in a huge theater, nearly 3,000 people capacity. I hope he rises to this occasion because he deserves it. The goal here is maximum jokes in the minimum amount of time. It's rapid fire. You have to chisel it down and make sure it is an incredible amount of laughs per minute. it every time I'm about to take the stage. Some idiot will come up to me and say, hey, break a leg. Screw you. I hope you rupture your spleen, you idiot. They don't mean anything by it. We just don't know what the hell we're saying in our language. I don't want to beat a dead horse. I don't want you to either. There's more than one way to skin a cat. How many ways do you need, you psycho? He looks down his nose at me. Well, of course, we all look down our nose. If he could look up his nose at you, either he'd be a freak or you'd be a booger. Those are the only options. <laughs> Looking for a needle in a haystack. Who's shooting up in the barn? That's my question. <laughs> his eyes were bigger than his stomach. Well, run for your life. That dude's an alien. Who is this bug-eyed anorexic freak? She's a party pooper. Ugh. Keep her away from the dip. Some of these things sound disturbingly wrong, don't they? He's on the lam. He needs a girlfriend immediately. We say the dumbest things, don't we? I know it like the back of my hand. I don't even know the back of my hand. I'm intimately involved with the front of my hand, but that's not important right now. Stupid things like, can I bend your ear? Sure, if I can poke you in the eye, you jackass. <laughs> Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. What the hell is that? That's a squirrel on crack. That's what that is. <laughs> She'll bend over backwards to please you. Really? <laughs> hey, I'm Tom Cotter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's what we call it, comedy, killing it. Howard. Killing it is uh, putting it lightly. Look, Tom, you are smooth. This is going to be the year that maybe a singer doesn't win on America's Got Talent. You're the man to beat. You are so talented. You're gifted and funny. You know how to take a crowd in 90 seconds and win them over. You're phenomenal. Wow. Phenomenal. Sharon. 
Yeah, Tom, you are a guy that has learnt his craft. Your timing is always perfection. Your, your jokes are always original. And I, I can't say enough about how I hope that you are in our final. Because you deserve to be there. You really do. Very talented. One of our great comics, well, Howie Mandel. I certainly agree with everyone. The thing is that I know what this must feel like. I know to be judged any time you go on stage, you're judged, but not like this. The pressure is tremendous, but you do not show it, sir. You are the consummate professional. You're as cool as a cucumber, and you deliver like a true professional. I hope America votes you through. You Thank deserve you. it. Wow, Tom. And I got to jump on the bandwagon, too, to see, man, during rehearsal, and you guys weren't here, he did a completely different set that was just as hilarious. So this, man, you, you killed it. How's it feel? Uh, unbelievable. The whole process, the whole journey, it's, it's blowing my mind. I really appreciate all the kind words and everybody's support. Thank you. <laughs> to book Tom Cotter into the semifinals, call 1-866-60-AGT-10. That's one 866 6024810 and you can also vote online at nbc.com <laughs>